All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining our webinar here this afternoon. Um, today, we're going to be going over cutting the cord with cable and streaming your entertainment over Greenlight's network. So my name is Sarah. I'm on the marketing team here at Greenlight. First, we're going to just go over a brief agenda. This is a rundown of everything that we are going to go over today. This would be a great opportunity for you to look through this list and know if there's a certain topic of cord cutting that you think you might need a little more information on or something that you're not too sure about and is holding you back from cutting the cord. Okay, so some of you might be thinking, how does using Greenlight's network benefit me when I cut the cord? The answer to that is that Greenlight's super fast speeds improve your streaming experience. Simple as that. So the world of streaming has grown and there's a large variety of any shows and movies that you're looking to watch and they just continue to come out with new content each and every day. So our network gives you the ability to watch, play, listen and surf as much as you want, whenever you want. You don't wanna be held back by an internet connection. So Greenlight gives you all the opportunity in the world. Okay, so this slide is called Join the Cord Cutting Revolution. This is basically a rundown of what is cord cutting, why should I do it? So cutting the cord is a universally used term for someone who is canceling their cable or satellite subscription and using an alternative method such as streaming to watch shows, movies, and so much more. Cutting the cord can help save you money as well, which some people are like, oh no, I don't want to spend more money. This is scary, it's new, but you will save money. Um, we also have more and more people cutting the cord every single day, as you can see on this little graphic here. So um, as time continues to go on, the more resources that are created, that number will just continue to spike. Okay, so this slide here is showing a list of streaming services that have a variety of options for you to watch shows, movies, and more. Um, many of the services are similar, but have minor differences that help cater to specific demographics. So ESPN Plus is a great way to watch sports, and YouTube TV is a perfect way for you to watch live TV or some of the shows that you like to watch on ABC, for example. Um, each service varies in price, which we'll dive into in a little bit. Um, so it's important for somebody looking to cut the cord to do your homework. Make sure you know what the service is going to provide for you and how it's going to benefit your family, because not every service is for everyone. Um, something that I like to call out and have people keep in mind is that each of these services allow more than one user on. So say that I have a Netflix account and my parents want Netflix, but they don't really want to pay for it. They can be watching at the same time. So also look into that when you're deciding which streaming service is right for you. Okay, so here's some of the top streaming services. Um, in the chart, you'll see some of the most popular ones that are available today. Overall, they're priced pretty low, as you'll see there to the right. Each one, like Hulu, has live TV options where Disney Plus does not. But with that being said, Disney Plus has a full library of content. It makes me excited to go back and relive some of those things that I had when I was a child. So my recommendation for deciding which service is right for you would be to make a list of what is important for you to have in a streaming service and look up which service checks all of those boxes for you. So even if you have two to three of these services, it will give you so many options and it will be less than a traditional cable bill while you're streaming with Greenlight. There are many more than this as well. These are just some of the most popular um, ones that are creating tons of content each and every day. Okay, so in order to watch the services that I just showed you, you'll need some type of device to watch them on. So here um, we have some great devices, um, such as an HD antenna, which is perfect for watching live TV. Um, any smart TV will do the job. Um, and then there's things like a Roku or a Fire Stick, um, which allow you to download apps and watch any service that you would like. Very similar chart to the one we saw with streaming services, but for devices. So as you can see, some are way more expensive than others. So it's important for you to, as a consumer to decide what you need to pay for to meet the needs of your family. Um, some of them have voice control, smartphone control. Um, some of them you're able to browse the web. Um, it all depends what you're looking for, but there's affordable options for everyone. So don't let the fact that you have to buy a device hold you back from cutting the cord. Okay, so this is a very common question that we get and it's something that holds people back from cutting the cord every single day. Um, but I had touched on it before and watching local TV is still possible when you do cut the cord. So you can purchase an HD antenna from somewhere like Walmart, Best Buy, or Amazon, 
and they're very affordable. Um, it's not bulky or old fashioned like you might think, so it'll still work great in your home. It won't mess up any aesthetic that you have going on. So there are also streaming services like YouTube TV and Hulu with live TV that allow you to watch local channels, including news stations. So take that into account whenever you are picking your streaming services. Okay, this chart here will give you a better idea of how much you could truly be saving by switching to Greenlight Networks and cutting the cord with cable. Um, while you're home listening today, you could um, jot down on a separate piece of paper your current pricing options to see how much you could start to save today. So I'll leave this up for a minute. Um, it's good to just read through and give you an idea of how much you could really cut back. It will take a little work to decide which streaming service and which device you want. But once you make those choices, you are smooth sailing. You're good to go. So today, I've definitely been throwing a lot of information your way. So I want everyone to know that there are external resources that you can use to help make your life a little bit easier when cutting the cord. Um, Welcome Home Living, House Digital, and Geek on the Go are all smart technology companies who are experts in streaming, setting up any device, and using technology that's built and given to us to make our lives easier. Um, even though it Sometimes technology is overwhelming and it just seems like it's gonna be more work. So they're here to take that stress off of your plate. So here at Greenlight, we like to provide as many educational resources as we can to help customers cut the cord every single day and support you after you cut the cord. So be sure to check out our cord cutting um, page on our website at greenlightnetworks.com. Um, we have our blog about seven reasons to cut the cord um, and we post all the time on various social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, we've also created a couple newer blogs um, recently that have tons of information on streaming content and all of those other resources to help you live virtually.